So we have returned to Crescent City and we are south of Pebble Beach. And it's just public access and this beach is one of the best beaches in all of California for rock County. Totally recommend it, 100%. And I am stoked to come here. So yeah, just stoked. Um, this is one of those places that, oh, uh, that's probably the better path, but we'll take it. A lot of beaches are sand and sedimentary. This one, it is beautiful and loaded with all kinds of stuff and we've already found agates here and it's a rock hound's paradise it's a, a rock hound's paradise just stretching off into the distance um, and some most beautiful shirts and stuff that you can imagine all the flavors of jasper agate shirt everything just rainbow so every green that you see here is some of the just most prettiest shirts um, little pieces of actual jades bow and nights um, like I said all the jaspers really got to slow down for a second and look but it just doesn't take long to fill your hand up with with awesome so ah serpentine heart In the spot. Ah. These must have been rocks that were just totally loaded with all this goodness as it eroded away. They just turned into pebbles and now it's a beach of pebbles. Because these would have all been big veins in the hillsides over here. And not just gray sedimentary sandstone that had all of this laced to it, you know? No lines in this little eggy creature. Just start, just all different sizes too. You'll probably see me going after a lot of the little ones, but there are large enough pieces here to actually get material out of. So if you have a specific, you know, thing that you're going for, red jasper, green jasper, yellow jasper, you can look in the bigger cobble and find some nice solid chunks as well. I'm gonna go work the wet and the little stuff. But yeah, highly recommended. Beautiful granites. And the mica. That's right, this beach had these awesome, uh, they're like the shale, but some of it's, oh, it's got some more solidity to it, and it ends up with this black and gray stripe to it, and then, I think they're beautiful. I only grabbed a couple last time, but I was like, wow. Beautiful reds. These are some big old chunks of that stuff. I think we'll gather some of it. All the different shirts. More of these gray and black tiger stripes. Creatures.
like another red jasper mix. It's just a really cool orientation of how it all ended up. And a pink and cream. Water is here. It's like a big old tide pool. It's beautiful. You can look right down into the whole thing. How cool is that? Besides all the rocks, look at that. these gray rocks to just this one's almost pendant shaped already not sure how well they're going to shine up we'll just have to see as far as polishing just beautiful gray smoky quartz. There are some really cool looking green rocks here that we have to go through. And uh, I'm gonna bring some home. I can't tell if it's a super dark jade or not. But look at these pieces of chert with dendritic growth that has occurred wherever there was a old fracture. It's kind of cool. Not to mention the color. This has more of it, so all the chert here seems to have a lot of little stuff going on with it. Nice square slabs. You know the color in that one. Everything from grays down into Full green spectrum. Little pieces everywhere. I mean, there's a plethora of it here. This is nothing but church all piled up. And I'm enjoying these, which I think we can get some really cool color play out of. You see all the striping and stuff in here? So we're going to experiment with that stuff. And then I'll show you these. These are our question marks. So these are really hard, smooth, probably just a green stone. But we'll still slice it and see what its translucence is. That one actually now isn't looking so awesome in this light. But some of these, some of these. So, I'm gonna take a couple home and look at them. And uh, yeah, still hunting that elusive agate. Turned into cooler stuff, but we're gonna go ahead and grab some. Well, there are a lot of carnelian agates here, and we are finding a lot of them. They are pretty dinky, but I'm I'm not complaining. Oh, some petrified wood in there. 
That's beautiful. Love a bag of cool other stones too, but these are actually really abundant. As common as that, boom, 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 all over in the gravels. So we're up in Agate Land. There is my big hall. I'm gonna put him in the community bag here, but that is cool that is an eel head jaw that is far out that is cool eel uh, Super clear little quartz pebbles. Church mixes. Jasper pieces. Really clear church. Really clear. Almost quartz church. So many cool colors of the serpentines and granite mixes. This one's like orange and grays. Big old, this literally looks like a, uh, like a big old quartzite pebble. One fine crack running through it all. Nice reds everywhere. What's your flavor? up onto a new beach soon. This is nice. Look at the clear gray. It's another piece of church, but it's just this one's gray with some yellow. But boom. And then uh, some quartz with some green in it. Okay, these are the three stones I collected or grabbing everything else off of uh, that last stop at Crescent City. Went ahead and brought them home, put them on the saw, and cut into each one. And they are not Bowenite, they are something else. Can't really identify them, they're not a jade. And I'm not even sure if they're in the serpentine family. They are dark and they have a green hue to them. And they are off that beach in Crescent City. But that outside is why I thought that they might be translucent and might be in the same family. But took off the little edges and held them up to bright light and they are absolutely non-translucent at all. They are just solid, opaque, or uh, very non-fracturous and it is a beautiful color so you could use them for something. They were also really hard to cut. They're about twice as hard as anything in the serpentine family, so way more compressed.